Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm stir-frying on the grill. Now this may sound like some sort of strange, newfangled fusion technique, but it's actually steeped in tradition. In ancient China, the focal point of the kitchen was a firebox with a hole on top where a wok would fit snugly, and this was a way of generating an amazing amount of heat into the wok with a small amount of fuel. And you can do the same kind of thing on your charcoal grill, and I'm going to show you how. But there are three things that I want you to pay particular attention to. The first thing is to prep all of your ingredients and get them right to next to the grill, because I'm not kidding when I say this is a five minute stir fry. It goes really quickly. You don't have time to run back into the kitchen for something. Here I've got my meat cut up into strips, and I've blended that with some ginger and garlic, also a little bit of vegetable oil and sesame oil. I've also got my vegetables prepped. Notice that they're about the same size. That's very important. I've got my sauce made, and I've got a little bit of cilantro standing by. The second thing is to get the wok smoking hot. And to do that, you want to build a bed of charcoal on the charcoal grate, just in the middle there, one or two briquettes deep, and then lay the wok right on top in this special ring. The ring and the wok together are part of the gourmet barbecue system. Now, the wok has to preheat like that for at least five minutes. I've already done that, and I can show you that the temperature is plenty hot. If you just drop some water in there, it should immediately sizzle and evaporate. Now you're good to go. The third thing is knowing when to stir and when not to stir. In a stir fry, you do not stir constantly. You begin actually by spreading the meat out so that you get as much surface contact as possible and just letting it be. You want to let it brown for about 30 seconds. So once I've got some good color on the meat, the vegetables go in, and I stir this almost constantly until they are crisp tender, just barely tender. You'll notice that the color begins to brighten up a little bit. After about a minute of cooking the vegetables, in with the sauce. And this is a cornstarch thickened sauce, so it needs to come to a boil to fully thicken. So give it a brief stir, just to evenly incorporate the sauce throughout the other ingredients. And then close the lid. Once the sauce has come to a boil and thickened, that's it. You're done. Maybe a little bit of cilantro to finish. It's time to eat authentic Chinese stir-fry from the backyard.